There it is. That's what we've been waiting for. The full 90 minutes controlled by Manchester United under Ralph Rannick and Marcus Rashford coming up with a 93rd minute winner in front of the Stretford end. <clears throat> what a moment for him. What a moment in that game, which seemed like a match that was just going to frustrate Manchester United. We had total control of that entire game, but it didn't seem like we had the attacking threat needed to punish West Ham. And then Martial came on. The shape changed a little bit. Tellez to Ronaldo, to Martial, to Cavani, to Rashford. He plants it in. Stretford end erupts. And I'm so over the moon that that went to Marcus Rashford. He's had a tough, tough season so far. And that moment there was a big release. And that game there, that performance there, that total overall team performance, that's what we've been waiting for. <clears throat> we saw it in parts against Aston Villa in that first half. We saw it in the second half against Brentford. And we've seen it against Crystal Palace in bits and bobs. Bits and bobs everywhere. That game there, controlled for the full 90 minutes, but it seemed like United didn't have the attacking threat that we needed. All the control without the goals. And then Rashford came on, man. Rashford, Rashford, Rashford. Oh, I'm so buzzing for him. I'm buzzing myself. Jeez, Old Trafford was absolutely bouncing that game. The, sing the singing section, the TRA, everybody doing their job. <clears throat> and Rashford coming up with the goods there. Jeez, I think I've lost my voice when I was celebrating that. Oh, man, it's so that, that goal felt like such a relief as well as a celebration because that puts us into top. That We're now fourth. We've just leapfrogged West Ham, Spurs and Arsenal in the Premier League table going into the international break. It's all about momentum in football. <clears throat> and now we go into this international break with some real momentum. And my voice really is breaking. Wow. <clears throat> that is what happens when you score a 93rd minute winner, right? That is what should happen when your team scores a 93rd minute winner. How, what's your reaction? How are you feeling about the game? Am I going overboard? Hell no, I'm not going overboard. Nothing. Nothing beats an injury time winner at the end of a football game. Simple as that. It's the greatest pleasure. Oh, the, great, the greatest pleasure that exists in football. And we were treated to it today. And as I said, after a game where I think United... Just, we, it would have been two points dropped, right? If that game had finished nil-nil, it would have been two points dropped. We'll head over here to Sofa Score and see what they're saying about the player uh, match ratings. You can let me know who your man of the match was and I'll run through them individually. But today, a lot was expected of Manchester United. After a really impressive second half against Brentford, it was all about going out and doing it against a West Ham team that's beaten Liverpool this season. A West Ham team that's very, very good. Was it last season? They beat Anyway, West, this West Ham team has been very decent all season long. And Moyes came to Old Trafford and sat a little bit deep. They had their game plan. Hit on the counter-attack, go through Jarrod Bowen, go through four nows, try and play it through to Antonio. That's what That was their game plan. But Manchester United, we had it under control for pretty much the whole game, apart from a couple of moments. Probably the most threatening moment was when Susik got his head on a corner, at the, what was the 86th minute, and I was like, Arr! is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? But man, what? how amazing is a late winner how amazing is a last minute winner it just makes you forget everything else that's happened and you, all you can do is focus on that wonderful wonderful moment of explosion jeez and it did jizz in my pants i didn't jizz in my pants but i may as well have done because i mean am i gonna i'm not, I'm not gonna board man it's just great to see united controlling a game i mean i mean controlling a game control is ragnick's buzzword there's your buzzword ragnick there's your golden buzzer united totally dominant up against the midfield of Susick and Rice. And I, I honestly, if I went and did a, uh, asked a thousand fans on the streets, a thousand United fans, which midfielders would you take? Would you rather have in your team? Most of them are going to choose probably Susick and Rice. Fred, McTominay and Bruno had control of that midfield today. Had control of that midfield. Bruno dropped deeper when he needed to. I thought he played pretty well today. He, I mean, there was there was obviously those Hollywood passes that don't quite work out with Bruno, but that's part of his game, man. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, he'll keep trying again until it does work. He doesn't get downheartened and, and uh, disheartened, sorry, by things not working out. And that just United had an impetus. We had we were going forward. We were going forward. It didn't seem like it was going to work though, did it? Right. Because Mason Greenwood, uh, Anthony Langer, who got taken off but got a standing ovation. Man, Anthony Langer really has set the tone, hasn't he? He's set the tone in his, in his first few appearances as a Manchester United player. He's showing his commitment, his first to second balls. Anthony Langer, 
deserved that standing ovation. It's been a very, very impressive first few appearances for him in the United shirt, and long may that continue. Mason Greenwood, I thought, was a little bit muted, but I understood why Elanga came off for him. It was more a natural sub, <clears throat> and obviously it works. We'll get onto that in a little bit. Well, I'm not as if I haven't already <laughs> talked about it, but Cristiano Ronaldo, and probably another frustrating day for him, but that's kind of what's going to happen inside this formation. It's a 4-3-3. It's an isolated number nine position. He's going to have to drop deep to receive the ball. He's going to have to... He's going to find himself frustrated in quite a few games. But Tomine and Fred, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. So much, so many people like to slag them off. I wouldn't say they were... Either of them were incredible today, but they were major reasons why we had that control in the middle of the pitch. We did. We always had an extra body there. Bruno was dropping deeper quite a lot of the time. Maybe isolating himself going forward. Maybe that's why he was trying so many longer passes. But, mate, happy days. And I'll tell you what, I've got to give him credit. Harry Maguire today, right, showed the sort of Maguire that I like. I don't really like watching Harry Maguire when he's passive, when he's got so much time on the ball that he doesn't really know what to do with it. And he looks cumbersome, laboured, awkward to watch. When Harry Maguire is aggressive and United are playing with a much higher line, Maguire is a much better defender. That's why Maguire was different today. He had to put in a performance. Victor Lindelof, hope him and his family are well after what happened and the, fam the house was broken into. I hope, sorry, I don't know what's going to happen, but maybe United will put security uh, on the houses of the players during the games. But Maguire got an opportunity today. He otherwise would not have got to get back in the team and he did very well. It was more of a captain's performance than I think I can remember from him. Alex Tellez and Diogo Delo, they offered threat on the wings the whole game. I really think they did. I think both of them played pretty well. David De Gea, has got a 7.3 there according to Sofa score. Did he even make a really proper save? I think it was only Antonio I really remember him having to make a save from, and that was like straight at him. One of those, one of those games where, which it should be at Old Trafford. We shouldn't be here waxing lyrical about how good our goalkeeper is. Should Manchester United, Old Trafford, we should be controlling games controlling the tempo, controlling the pace. And I'll tell you what, it's been seven minutes now in this match reaction, and I haven't even mentioned how good the press was. That's where the control came from. United were, if you watch United, as the, as the ball moved left to right and across the pitch, United were moving with it as a team. Ronaldo was shifting over, Bruno was shifting over, uh, Delo was squeezing up, McTominay was squeezing up. We were not allowing West Ham the space, and they, they ended up kind of going over the top Varane or Maguire, we get it, knock it back to De Gea, we recycle, we start again. That's what the press should be. That's what the press has been in parts, but today we saw it from the first whistle to the last whistle. That there was the best performance overall we've seen from Manchester United under Ralph Randick. And it came up right at the end there with that goal from Marcus Rashford. I am so absolutely over the moon for him. Really, really am, because it was a game where... Manchester United needed some sort of spark, didn't we? We needed a spark. I didn't know where that spark was going to come from. But to, to see that moment for him, I'm going to pull up the picture here. I'm just delighted for him. I'm really over the moon. Look at Cavani's face there. <laughs> Absolutely delighted for him. And I think something has to be said about Martial. Martial, I've given him so much stick. Um, I think Manchester United's attacking shape looked a little bit better with him on for those last 10 minutes. Cavani on, Rashford on, Ronaldo on, Martial on. We look good. And obviously we look good. We got the goal at the end. So credit where it is due. I have no agenda against any player. I think Maguire deserved to be dropped. But today Maguire played well. I'm going to praise him. Martial, I would rather he left Manchester United if he doesn't want to play for us. But today I think he came on and made a difference. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to praise him for that. There's no agenda here on United People's TV. All I want to do is see my team winning games with last-minute goals. And today, you got the golden ticket. Marco, Marcus Rashford come up there, came up with the goods, and United now into fourth place. A, a huge win, that. If, if that game had sort of uh, limped on to a nil-nil, it would have been a very, very frustrating, um, very frustrating draw. We all, we all would have said two points dropped, and it would have been a bit of a disappointing momentum, or lack of momentum, going into the international break. Instead, now we come off the back of a win against Brentford and a win against West Ham. Six points from our last two games. We're in fourth spot. Good. Okay. I mean, I wish the fucking international break wasn't coming now. At the time where United finally got a bit of momentum under Ragnit, but it doesn't matter. Win's a win, and we've got two of them. And Rashford, I'm so happy it, it was him that had that goal. And what a moment, eh? Old Trafford exploded. 
Jeez, I've, my voice is back now, though. I lost it for the first few minutes. What's your reaction to that man of the match? Who do you give man of the match to in that one? That's a weird one. I, don't even, I haven't even thought of that. I wonder who man of the match is. Who are they giving it to on that sofa score? They've given it to probably Alex Tellez. I wouldn't say there's anybody that jumps out to me apart from Marcus Rashford because he came off the bench and scored the winner. I know it's a little bit unfair, but sod it. I'm giving it to Marcus Rashford, even if he was only in the pitch for 10 minutes. But in reality, I'd probably say Harry Maguire was very good in that game. Like him or lump him, I think he played well. Let me know who your man of the match was. Let me know what your reaction to the game was. But three points. We're in fourth. Six points from our last two games. Clean sheet there at Old Trafford. De Gea not threatened. Man United in total control. The press was good. And we got a last minute winner. If Carlsberg made football games, they probably would make them much better than that game. But they would at least give you that 1-0 win right at the end with a dramatic late winner from Rashford in front of the Stratford end. Happy days. Enjoy that, people. Surely enjoy that. <laughs>